howdy howdy hey what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video in today's video ladies and gentlemen we are going to be building a budget leopard gecko setup you heard me right i've done videos similar to this in the past but this video was requested by a supporter a subscriber so i figured you know what why not why not do this video and that is today's video so thank you so much for suggesting today's video because you actually gave me a video idea to film. Anyways, enough said. Let's get started on building the setup and showing you the ingredients you are going to need to build the setup. First ingredient, you're going to need a leopard gecko. That's ingredient number one and we got one right there. Next ingredient, you're going to need a plastic tub and a lid. You're also going to need some Repti Calcium without D3. A roll of paper towels. One hide here. Another hide there. A decent sized water bowl and some fake plants and or brush. And one other optional helpful item to have is a torch with a hot knife point at the end. I probably shouldn't have thrown that. Now first things first, we need to get air holes on this tub because there are no air holes on it at all and leopard geckos need lots of air holes, lots of ventilation. So step one is we are going to go ahead and put this little pointy hot knife piece on the torch. Three, two, one, here we go. And wham, just like that, our torch has been upgraded with this very hot to the touch hot knife piece. So all we're gonna do now is flick that down. We're gonna turn it on and boom, you can see we have that blue heat in there. As it starts to heat up, you will literally be able to just poke into this tub. We can't really do it right now as it's not quite hot enough. Well, holy crap, that sucker is hot. Let me get it out of this room before we set off the smoke alarm. Oh my goodness. But if we come back over here, look at that, y'all. Perfectly marked, well, kind of perfectly marked, holes in one side of the tub. Now we're going to repeat it on this side here. And boom. Holes on both sides, so our tub is ready to go. Now we can officially start setting it up with live animals. With these plastic tubs, I will mention it is very, very important. You have plenty of airflow, especially if you're doing an arid species like leopard geckos, because if you do not have enough airflow, you will give your animal a respiratory problem, a respiratory disease. So just keep that in mind. But now let's start setting this tub up. Alrighty, step one for setting up this plastic tub right here is adding paper towels to the bottom. Grab our roll of paper towels and just basically create a substrate layer of paper towels so this tub here costs about eight dollars the paper towel roll is going to cost you like two dollars or so so right now you're at a total of ten dollars we're going to go ahead and start adding our paper towels to the bottom make sure you get a good even layer of paper towels all across the bottom that way when your animal poops it's a little bit easier to clean up i also forgot to mention you will need a heat pad and a thermostat for this tub. The only reason I am not using a heat pad and thermostat right now is because the shelf I'm gonna be keeping it on stays about 85 degrees. Being that the shelf that this tub right here is going to be on is already so hot, I'm not going to need a thermostat or a heat pad. But if you are keeping this on a shelf or somewhere that it does not get 85 degrees, then you're going to want to buy a heat pad and thermostat. So next thing we're gonna add is our hides. We've got two hides, one to act as a humid hide in one area and one to act as a warm hide in another part of the tub. Now for your humid hide, you're gonna bundle up some of your paper towels and you're gonna put it in that hide there. Make sure to leave enough room for the gecko to get in. Then you're gonna spray those paper towels down really, really well. Those paper towels are going to help keep the inside of this hide extremely, extremely humid. That's exactly what you want, just like that. With your regular hide, you don't need to do anything fantastic at all. Just set your hide in there, out of the way where your animal can go in and out as it chooses. Then we'll add our water bowl. We're gonna put it probably in this corner here. So your hide is going to go here, your other hide here, your water bowl here, and your heat pad will go under your regular hide, not under your humid hide. We'll go ahead and start filling our water bowl up here as well. Then we're going to go ahead and add our plants. You can use all sorts of different plants from the Dollar Tree, Home Depot, Walmart, whatever. Most of those will work. We're going to put that one something like there, maybe over here, just to add for a little bit more decor and foliage. You can also come up under here and hide if he needs to. So something like that looks pretty decent and we'll continue to add on everything else. Next up, you're going to use a little plastic lid or something like this. Act as your calcium tray. Calcium is very important for leopard geckos. It's beneficial for one, their bone development 
development, and two, their overall growth. Go ahead, open up your calcium powder just like so. Take your little lid, scoop a thin layer of calcium powder all across it, lay it all the way across nice and flat. You're probably gonna get some calcium powder on your hand, and just like that. Now what your leopard gecko is going to do is at night, it's going to walk up to this lid and lick the calcium powder out of it to help get its nutrients. We're gonna set this one probably right about there. That makes a good little spot for its calcium dish. And we'll go ahead and close up the calcium powder itself. Now right now you're looking at a complete total of around $50 or less. The tub and the paper towels is about $10. Each hide is probably about $5 each. So you're looking at another $10. Water bowl is about $5 to $10. So we'll say another $10. You're at $30 right now. With your tub of calcium and your plant, you could probably add roughly another $10. Putting you at $40. Now if you get a heat pad and thermostat, that's going to increase your price a little bit depending on what you get. But you also can find heat pads and thermostats for super cheap prices at garage sales craigslist for ten dollars or less so if you find something on craigslist or a garage sale or an estate sale or anything like that you could save a lot of money as a matter of fact i've seen offers where they have heat pads and thermostats and full kits full setups for 10 or 20 bucks so depending on what you get heat pad wise and thermostat wise your total may be around 50 to 60 dollars if you get a fancy torch like i do then add another $50, but you really don't need a torch like this. A fire lighter will do, or a screwdriver poking holes will do. You don't really need a crazy torch like this. The other thing is you have to afford feeders for your gecko. So if you get mealworms, crickets, doobie roaches, whatever you decide to feed your gecko, that is an additional cost. Your paper towels will also need to be changed out at least a minimum of once a week. So you'll have to buy rolls of paper towels every once in a while as well. But this is a super, super cheap and inexpensive leopard gecko setup. You've got your warm hide, you've got your humid hide, you've got some plants, you've got some water bowls, calcium. This is the basic bare necessity setup. Also keep in mind the floor space of this tub is larger than that of a 10 gallon tank. It looks small on camera, but the tub is a lot larger than it seems. But now it's time for the fun part, which is adding our adorable rescue leopard gecko. This little leopard gecko is chilling right there, so we're gonna go ahead and take the lids off. Say hi to this little buddy. What's going on, dude? How are you, dude? How are you? Now, most of you guys have not seen this gecko. This is actually a really new leopard gecko to me, and he's kind of a rescue. As you can see, he's really pretty in color, but his shape is very skinny. So right now, I'm just kind of working on getting him bigger, getting him healthier, before I do anything else with him. So if you guys have any suggestions on names go ahead and drop them down in the comments and if you're lucky you may get to name this adorable little leopard gecko now little buddy is about to get a whole new setup right over there so buddy are you ready are you ready little man i think that adorable little gecko is ready to go also you guys tell me this down in the comments you see how one eye is just solid black and the other is like y'all see that i don't know what what that is if that's just a like a gene thing or like a deformation or because his other eye looks perfectly normal but then one's just solid black like y'all see that that is insane see he looks like a totally different gecko from each side and now we're gonna go ahead grab our little buddy hi dude hi pretty boy what's up with you man all right let's go ahead and introduce him to his new setup wow what a beautiful gecko this is here we go y'all we're going to introduce him to his new temporary home as we rehabilitate him and get him in better shape Three, two, one, go free, buddy. Go free, little man. There he goes. Let's see where he decides to go first, okay? So he's just walking straight forward. That That's not, go, go that way. Go that way, buddy. He's walking around, he's exploring his habitat. Let's just keep an eye on him and see where he decides to go. He's probably gonna look for somewhere to hide and it looks like that's what he's doing. He's going towards his plant maybe? I'm not sure what's what's up with him. There he goes, yes, there he goes. So he's going into his hide to chillax, to relax. Everybody say bye to our adorable unnamed gecko. And there y'all have it. That was a leopard gecko budget setup. But yeah, now without further ado, let's cut to a little montage of this tub setup.
Well, y'all, that was building a budget leopard gecko setup. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's budget leopard gecko setup video. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you think I should add or change or do differently, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Just remember that you do need a heat pad and thermostat. This tub is only good for one leopard gecko at the most. And if you have the means to get a better setup, say a 20 gallon tank or a larger tub, definitely do so. This was just a very bare minimum stackable type setup. And hey, we are so close to 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate the support and I will see all of you wonderful people all in the next one. Peace! Guys, we're almost at 4,000 subscribers! Woo!